Hey guys, welcome back to the final part of our chatbot tutorial. So in the last parts, we already uh, implemented the training dataset creation and the PyTorch model in the training pipeline. And now we will learn how we save and load our model again and then implement the chat with this trained chatbot. So let's do this. So in our training file, at the end, the only thing left to do here is to save the data. So now we create a dictionary and then we want to save different things. So as a key, we want to save the model state and we will get this by calling model.statedict. Then we also want to save the input size so this is the input size, then the same with the output size. This is the output size. Then um, we also want to have the hidden size. So let's copy and paste this again. So this is the output size. And here we have the hidden size hidden size. Then we also want to store all the words that we collected in the beginning. So this is all words. And we also want to store all the tags that we collected. So this is tags. And then we can simply uh, or we have to define a file name. So file equals data dot pth for pytorch and then we can simply call torch.save our file so this will serialize it and save it to a pickled file and then let's um, or we also of course have to put in the data that we want to save and then we can print um, the as an f string training complete and file saved to and then here our file name so this will be in the same folder now and then we have to run the training again because last time we didn't save it after training so now we do so now let's run the training again So now this was successful. So we see training complete and file saved to data.pth. So now the only thing left to do is to implement the actual chat. So let's create another file chat.py. And here, um, let me close this. We want to import random because later we want to do a random, cha uh, random choice from the possible answers. Then we import JSON and we import torch. Then we import our model from model import neural net. And we also need the NLTK utils. We want to import. We need the bag of words and we need the tokenization function. Then let's um check if we can use the device so um let me grab this here so we check if we have gpu support then we want to open our file so we say with open and then intents.json in read mode as F, we say our intents equals JSON dot load F. So the same as in the in the training file. Then we also want to open our saved file. So file name equals data dot PTH. And here we called model uh, torch dot save. And then we can simply call torch.load. So we say data equals torch.load our file. And 
then we want to get the same information. So we say input size equals data with the key um, in small input size and the same for the hidden size. So hidden size has the key hidden size and output size has the key output size. So then we have the information we need to create our model. Then we also um, get the all words by saying this is data with the key all words. And let's again copy and paste this two times. So we also want to have the tags, which is key tags. And as a last thing, we save the model state equals data model state. And then we have to load the state dict after creation. So we say model dot load state dict and then the model state. So now it knows our learned parameters. And then we set it to evaluation mode. So we say model dot evil. And then let's implement our actual chat. So let me run this and clear this and see if I don't have any typos. So python chat dot pi. And um, hidden size key error. Um, hit end size. So I saved this with a wrong key, which is fine for now. Then I used the same wrong key here too. So hit end size. And then, um, yeah, this is working so far. So you might want to change this and then rerun the training again. So I don't rerun training again. So this is fine. And then let's create the chat. So let's give our bot a name by saying bot name equals Sam. And then we say print and then let's let's chat and then also give the user the tip type quit um, to exit. And then we use a while true loop. So while true. And then we want to get the input. So we say sentence equals input. And here we use u colon and the space. So this is the raw string. And we say if sentence equals equals quit, then we say break. And otherwise we um, continue. So the first thing we want to do is we want to tokenize the sentence and then also get or calculate a bag of words the same as we are doing it here for our training data. So we want to tokenize our sentence by saying sentence equals tokenize and then the sentence. Then we want to create the bag of words by saying x equals bag of words. This gets the tokenized sentence and all the words that we um, got from the saved file. And then we want to reshape this. So we say x equals x dot reshape. And then we have to give it one row because we only have one sample. And then x dot shape zero as the number of columns because um, our a model expects it in this shape. And then we want to convert it to a torch tensor by saying 
x equals torch dot from numpy because our um, bag of words function returns a numpy array. Then we um, use our model and say output equals model x. And then this will give us the prediction. So we say uh, underscore and predicted equals and then we get this by saying torch dot max output and then we want to have it from dimension equals zero and then we want to get the actual tag by saying tag equals tags of the index predicted dot item so this is the class label so the number and then this will be the actual tag that we start for example this could could be greeting and then we have the tag and then we want to find the corresponding intent so um, we loop over all the intents here and check if the tag matches so we say, um, let's say for and then intent in intents with the key um, intents. Then we say if tag equals equals intent um, with the key tag. So this is the same tag. Then we print in a response so we print f and then we say um first our bot name then let's use a colon and a space and then we want to do a random choice from the responses array so one of those so for this we say random we already imported this and then choice from the responses array and we get this by saying intent and then with the key responses so this is our um possible response and now one more thing to improve this is to check if the probability for this tag is high enough and um, to do this um, if we have a look at the model again then we will see um, we have to apply the softmax to get actual probabilities so in our training pipeline, we didn't implement this in our model. So after the forward pass, we simply get the raw values. But then during training, we used the cross entropy loss, which applied this. So now here we have to apply this on our own. So um, to get or to have a look at the probabilities. So we say props equals torch dot soft max and then we want to have a look at the soft max of the raw outputs and along dimension equals one and then we say the actual prop for this predicted tag equals props and then um, props zero and then of the index predict dot item and this will be the probability and then we can say if the probability is large enough so if prop dot item and this should be let's say greater than 0.75 then we do this and otherwise we say else print I or let's use the same as here so we want to have the bot name first and here we say I do not understand dot 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 
And then we are done. So I think I let me quickly check. So I have an arrow here. So I have to say torch dot from numpy x and here a colon. And here I have to use single quotes because I'm already using double quotes here. So some syntax errors here. So now everything should be fine. So now let's test our chat by saying Python chat.py. And we see our chat can start. So let's type hi and it knows this is a greeting. So let's ask what do you sell? And we have coffee and tea. How long takes takes shipping? Shipping takes two to four days. So we see that this is working. Now let's say, can you help me? And then he says, I do not understand. So I guess the probability is working too. So let's say bye. And then he says, have a nice day. So yeah, our chatbot is working and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this, then please subscribe to the channel and see you next time. Bye.